Kia ora guys, welcome to my backyard. Um, now over this time, uh, I think it would be a good challenge for everyone um, and I would highly recommend um, to have a bit of an explore uh, of your backyard and what you can find in it. Um, we can call this uh, site surveying um, and you can even have a little activity where you guys can make a map uh, of your backyard and see what you can find in it. Um, so we're going to get in here and we're going to have a look to see what we can find. So let's jump in. Now, I have to admit, I'm pretty lucky that I get a backyard that kind of looks something like this. But it doesn't mean that if you live somewhere that's a little bit more populated that you don't necessarily get a little bit of, bit of nature in your backyard that you can't find somewhere local um, to go and explore these sorts of places as well. There's uh, lots and lots of fun uh, things that you can do while, while you're in the bush. Um, one thing that, that, that I absolutely love to do any time that I, that I enter um, the bush or anything like that is sometimes just take a second um, and appreciate uh, the different sounds that I can hear um, and all that sort of stuff. So I'll just take, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be long, can just be 30 seconds um, and then you can, can, can see what you can hear. And, and, and allow nature to come to you. trace principles. So once you've finished exploring your backyard, there's a couple of things you can do. You can do a little map um, and then plan future activities that you can do in there or you can um, do a little picture um, of all the different things that you found. So here's my, here's my little picture um, that I'm going to share with you guys. 